This place is so cool, man. I just love the world that they built, uh, that Zoss built here. No more excuses, Lambor. Just find them. Uh, Captain Colleen. Look what the sea spread out, Lambor. Might be just what we need. You interested in some easy money? Uh, yeah, of course. I have a heist planned, a big one. Anyone who helps is going to be rich. But I need people who aren't local, who aren't in the pocket of Hedman Bosek. Still interested? Of course I am. This work requires some special talents. You help me recruit the folks I need, you get a cut of the take. I mean, it sounds like a plan. I'm in. So... What do you say? I mean, I just said I'm in, but who am I after exactly? Three folks I need are Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. Any or all of them would do. Okay, well, first things first. Tell me about Jakarn. He's a thief, but he's the best there is. He'd be a big help in the heist I have planned. Problem is, he robbed Bosek. Nobody robs Bosek. He's been tossed into the grave under Bosek's palace. So, I'll look for Jakarn. How do I get to him exactly? There's an entrance off the river under the palace. Watch out for traps and the other prisoners. They're all murderers down there. The worst scum on the island. That's the grave. You can leave anytime you want, if you can get out alive. Alright, makes sense. Uh, before we get to the job though, who runs Stros Mackay? Bloody Bosek. Ah, that guy. Edmund Bosek, as he calls himself now. He took over the palace years ago, killed the old ruler, and took his place. Uh, doesn't anybody stand up to him at all? Captain Helene, but she's worse than Bosek. Her sea drakes run Saints Port south of here, biggest ban of murderers on the sea. Bosek and Helene tolerate each other. Neither's ready for a war, yet. So it sounds like there's a lose-lose situation here with Bosek and Helene. They both seem like shady, dirty people, but it kind of makes sense because this kind of feels like a pirate-ish bay, almost. Uh, where's the rest of your crew? Deserted, the traitors. See, there's a fortune to be made from Breton galleons. Thing is, King Farharajad called for an end to it now that we're all part of the Daggerfall Covenant. Of course, as a loyal Red Guard, I obeyed. Who is King for uh? Fuck that guy. Ruler of the Red Guard people, now king among equals in the Daggerfall Covenant. King Vaharajad would have us raid the ships of our enemies, not our allies. There is wisdom in that. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Uh, well, it actually, it absolutely makes sense. Uh, did your crew disagree or something? If by disagreed you mean tried to kill us, then yes. Bunch of bloody mutineers. Lambor, myself, and a few others ran them off the ship, but word spread. No one here wants to sail with a captain who won't raid Bretons. Got it. Makes sense. Uh, where can I go to get a drink around here? The Screaming Mermaid's just up the road, and they've always got good rum. Just keep a grip on your coin purse, or you'll be a beggar by day's end. Okay. Anyone I should watch out for, specifically? Bosex thugs the bloody fists. Cross one, you cross them all, and Bosek will have your head on a pike faster than you can say, Please, don't put my head on a pike! <laughs> the sea drakes will gut you if you enter Saints Port. I doubt that. Well, goodbye. So, hold on. So, full disclosure, I've actually been playing this game quite a bit on my other character. I, I created another character because i kind of been infatuated with the gameplay loop in this game. But I've purposely been avoiding uh, I, anything that has to do with story. Like, I've been questing, don't get me wrong. But, like, I purposely just skipped through the dialogue. So I don't know anything in regards to the story. But I've been basically uh, just playing the game. So I do have all the expansions. So before I continue on with the main story, I actually want to go to Blackwood. Because I want to go here. And up here to get companions and I think they're gonna be very invaluable to me so I'm definitely gonna go and do those two quests first before I continue on with the story so let's go ahead did I put it on yeah I did 
Okay, so let's go over there. He is... He's the first companion. The Ivory Brigade has need of you. I'm not gonna accept any quest here or anything. I'm literally just gonna go straight there. Yeah, I've been playing this game quite a bit, but before I continue on, I do plan on playing with viewers uh, and subscribers of the channel. In order to do so, I'm going to recruit them from a guild that I started uh, called the Daggerfall Odyssey. Uh, it's a part of the Daggerfall Covenant, of course, but I think anybody can join. Uh, don't quote me on that, but yeah, if you guys want to join, definitely join there and if i see anybody online while i'm recording or even playing on my own i will definitely play with anybody who decides to join the the guild it's basically just an adventuring and questing and social hub i guess you could say so that's what i plan to do here on the channel so i do plan on questing together uh so it should be pretty fun if you ask me also I should probably put on a mount that I have quite a bit now. Uh, we'll go with... I guess an Imperial horse. Since I'm an Imperial after all. That guy's level 48. Okay. Well, we got quite a ways to go. We have a lot of traveling to do in this episode because... We have to go to two opposite sides of this specific map to get two separate companions. But on the way to these locations, I'm planning to, uh, you know, plain and simple, just avoid combat until I get there. This place isn't my main uh, focus right now, of course. I do want to play the main storyline before I proceed to DLC content. So it's going to be a while before we actually get to, uh, to Blackreach. But when we do, we're going to be very well prepared. Okay, so the endurance to this guy or the stamina to this guy really sucks, doesn't he? Okay, but let's see here. We should actually be pretty close, all things considering. Uh, the alien well. So that's good. Let's go ahead and grab this way shrine. Because this is the way shrine immediately... Uh, closest, I should say, uh, to the location we're trying to get. His name is Bastion, by the way, this first guy that we're going to get. We're going to use Miri, mostly, since I'm basically building a tank. Um, except it's going to be a weird kind of tank, because it's not going to be an actual tank for a while. Uh, I'm basically going to distribute somewhat equally, uh, as far as stamina and health and uh, magicka. So that I can play the game and still be able to, you know, do combat and stuff. And then once I make level 50, uh, I'm already past CP 160 on my other characters. So I should be able to get uh, max gear once I turn level 50. So once I turn level 50, I'm going to redistribute my points. And we're going to, you know, plain and simple, we're going to, you know, start tanking. Start doing group quests and trials and all that stuff if we can. Uh, it should be pretty interesting, so... Hey, hey, over here. We're here! I need some help. What's up, Bastion ha Halix? I don't know which of the eight divines sent you this way, but I'm glad to see you. Uh, the name's Bastion. Be on your guard, friend. I was accosted by a dark elf. She went into the cave hours ago, but she might return at any moment. What dark uh, what dark elf and what cave? The dark elf Tanare Vels. She's a traveler I met along the road. The cave is Deep Scorn Hollow. The entrance is over by the dock. I'm here to retrieve a fellow named Quistly Silvell. His family sent me to find him. I think he's in trouble. And what exactly do you want from me? Untie me, please. The Silvells will pay well if you help me get Quistly out of whatever trouble he's in. And I could use someone to watch my back. Interested? Oh, and check the shack. I think Tanare dropped something during our struggle. Uh, I'll see if the Dark Elf left any clues behind. We'll go from there, of course, and I'll help you definitely rescue this Quinsley fellow. Okay, so search the area. Let me take this marker off of my map. Oh, I already found where we need to go. I totally forgot, by the way. It's been a while since I did this. Uh, 
I'm not gonna read that, but you guys can definitely read that if you guys want. Just go ahead and uh, pause the video. Here, let me have a look. Yeah, here you go. A letter. I knew I saw something fall out of Tanari's satchel when she ambushed me. Why? This is a contract. Tanare Vels is bringing Quisley in to pay debts in Leowen. So you and Tanari Vales, uh, to Tanare, I'm not gonna. I'm horrible at pronouncing these names, by the way, so forgive me in advance. Uh, you and that person are after the same uh, quarry? Damn it. I guess that explains why Tanare knocked me out and tied me up. Of course, that God, idiot, Quisley, would gamble away more than he had in his coin purse. He's done it before. Usually begs his parents for help, though. So, this person's got a head start on you, is essentially what you're telling me. I ought to just let the Dark Elf have him, but it would be... <sighs> dishonorable. We better see if we can catch up to her. I'd like to leave her tied up and empty-handed when I drag Quisley out of here by his arrogant nose. Did you tell T uh, Tenare uh, you were going to uh, Deep Scorn Hollow? Probably. Yes, yes I did. We were just idly talking on the road. It never occurred to me that someone else might be looking for that petulant brat. It's not the first time I've been asked to get Quisley out of trouble. Okay. So... You don't sound very fond of this Quisley guy. Hey, look at his face. <laughs> what is wrong? What is wrong with his face? Uh, you don't seem very fond of this Quisley guy. I should try to hide it better, I suppose. We were raised together, more or less. Except he was the firstborn of a wealthy family, and I was the foundling they took in. Something which Quisley never quite let me forget. Have you uh, been uh, looking after Quisley all along? Well, it's the right thing to do. I mean, the Silvels gave me shelter, educated me alongside Quisley, even hired a tutor for me when I showed some magical aptitude. I owe them. And if looking after Quisley is how I pay them back, so be it. Uh, how often did, uh, do you work for the Savellis? S Silvel, that, those people. How Silvel has interests in a dozen cities. I travel all over Tamriel, looking after their business. I'm a mage by training, but I spend my days dealing with contracts and cargoes. And chasing after Quisley. Yeah, it sounds like a common thing here. If you don't like the work, why do you do it? Bells fostered me from the time I was small, seeing to my education and giving me a place in their home. As I grew older, Lord Silvell employed me in the family business. What I want to do isn't important. I have an obligation. I mean, you still gotta do what you need to do in your life as a as an individual, you know what I mean? Uh, did tell Ray, uh, did that person react uh, when you mentioned your task? No, not that I noticed said to keep an eye out for smugglers along the coast and departed soon after. She likely just hung back and followed me the rest of the way. Foolish of me. I should have been more alert. Perhaps. Well, let's go find this Quisley guy. This is different for Quisley. He's not one for any sort of rough living, other than maybe going to gambling dens and taverns in the seedier parts of town. Did you tell him, or her, uh, why you were going... To deep scorn? I think it's a him. Probably. Wait, I already went through all this. I did. Okay. Well, okay, the map marker's over here. Deep scorn hollow. Should be interesting. I've done this quest before, of course, but uh didn't pay attention to the story at all. Maybe there's more to this place than meets the eye. This guy's level 21. Let me go get ahead, go ahead and take out my sword and shield. Ha! Yeah! Oh, I kind of regret getting that uh that skill first, because that's a hardcore you know tanking skill. It's, it's basically getting them to aggro to you. Let me see if I could get a different skill. Do I even have any skill points? I do have a skill point. So let's go ahead and... Well, we'll get Lava Whip. I'll put that over here. 
And then I'm going to get one over of Draconic Power and then uh, Earth and Heart after that. So then I have one of each, you know? What's up, buddy? Ooh, take that whip. Uh. Here. Come to me, buddy. Uh. You want a whip too? I want to rock! Uh, hokey pokey. Oh! You thought. Uh. Dude, I'm... I'm a natural at this combat thing. Oh! Nope. Focus on me. I mean, I guess it's not a terrible thing, especially if we're gonna go run with companions. So I do plan on taking Miri, and I do have her set up as a tank. I mean, not a tank, as a as a, uh, a healer, so it should balance out very well with me being the tank, you know? So I'm thinking either having her as a healer or just having her as her normal abilities of being an archer. That way she does all the DPS while I do the literal tanking. Which is going to be kind of weird having your companion an AI at that doing all of the uh, the DPS. That would be pretty funny if you ask me. But whatever. Hiya! Nice. Oh, we got three over here. Here, you you all three aggro to me, me, to me, please. Ah! Oh, come on. You know what? I'm a, I'm... I mean, I... Oh! I didn't see her because she was, uh... Invisible for a second. Whip it! I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. So let's see. Do Is it this way or left? It's left. So we gotta go over here and see... Oh, wait. I got a... Uh, a level up. So... This is heavy. Hold on. The light, medium, heavy. So we're definitely going for the heavy... I think I'm going to go distribute one into stamina. Yeah, because like I said, I kind of want to put... I mean, that spiked armor. Let's go for stone. Uh, you know what? Let's do this in order so I don't get mixed up here. Uh, I'll put that right there. And then the earth and heart, I'll put it at number 5. I don't like number 2 because it's right next to the W, which is the forward key that I have. Uh, that it's binded to. So, it, it kind of makes makes it a little weird. I kind of want to get, like, a mouse for, uh... For, like, MMOs and stuff, you know? Oh, she juked me. Nice try there, buddy. Do you really expect to do anything here? Cuz you're not. Keeping it real here. Haha, -ha, I see you. I want a ranged attack. Up, oh, wrong button. Haha, -ha, he literally killed himself. An Imperial Staff. I don't need that, though, but thank you anyways. No, come back here. Woo! Oh, come on. Nice. Dude, they didn't stand a chance. Alright, so we have to go this way. I kind of should have listened to him, but... Oh well. Hey, what's up, buddy?
Nice. It kind of lagged a little bit, but... It's all good. We still managed to get it through. So there's three over there and two over here. So let's... I mean, we don't really have to take these guys out. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I wish I had a little bit more DPS uh, moves on my bar. As of now, I only have that one whip. Whoa. Since, there, since there's somebody here with me, I might as well do a proper deep uh, uh, tanking thing here. Oh, she's a... Uh, she's a... Uh, a dragon knight too. Let's let them out. It's an Argonian and a wood elf. Thank you. We've been here for days. What do you want, Bosmer? You should get out of here too, stranger. These people, the unmakers, they're crazy. I think they're preparing to sacrifice people. Why would anyone want to do such a thing? Uh, well, first of all, I don't know. People are crazy. That's the way of the world. But, uh, we're looking for a Breton named Quinsley, Savell. Have you seen him by any chance? I've met no one by that name, but that doesn't mean he isn't here somewhere. The only non-cultist I've seen in days was a dark elf who sneaked by a short time ago. She motioned for us to wait and left without a word. I... I should go. Wait. Who are these people? And why did they take you prisoner? They're cultists, I think. They follow someone called the Daughter of Sithis, and they talk about sacrifices to the Unmaker. I was on the road to Gideon when they grabbed me. Can I go now? Yeah, for sure, man. Just take the passage south and be careful, all right? There's still some left over. Before we continue, let's talk a moment. Yeah, what's up, Bastion? Cultists? That explains some of the decoration in here. So much for the smuggler hypothesis. I didn't expect to have to fight through a nest of cultists to extract Quisley from this mess, but so be it. What's he gotten himself mixed up in now? I don't know, but something tells me we're about to find out here very soon. Do you know anything about Sithis cults? What's there to know? They worship a god of death, darkness, and primordial chaos. Nothing good can come of that. Quisley's always getting into trouble, but it usually involves love or dice. He could be in real danger this time. Perhaps. Uh, the Wood Elf saw that person. Well, that sounded weird. It's like something, like a rock broke or something, I don't know. Uh, come through not long ago. She wants Quins uh, Quinsley alive too. Allowing Quisley to be dragged off to angry criminals is not much of an improvement. While Quisley might deserve it, I can't let Tanari Vels get him either. I want to try to grab one of these cultists and get some answers. Why are you responsible for Quinsley? It's a long story. Suffice it to say, I owe his family a great debt. Quisley and I were more or less raised together. The Silvels count on me to watch out for him, or help him if he needs it. So it's like, you know, brotherly figures in a sense. So, well, you're right here. So you and Quisley are like brothers. That's what the Silvels say when they need me to help him. But he's their son. I'm just someone they raised. Forgive me if I sound ungrateful. They took me in and made sure I was clothed, educated, trained. They didn't have to do that. Uh, how many times have you had uh, to get Quisley out of trouble? I've lost count. He does as he pleases. Unfortunately, what pleases him seems to land him in hot water. Every time. This, though... How Quisley stumbled into a cult's clutches, I can only guess. So you said you owe the Savels a debt. I'm the son of Lord Martel Halex, the traitor. What do you mean, the traitor? I never heard of this person. I suppose the story is not well known outside of court circles. My father was one of High King Emmerich's most trusted advisors, but when I was only a toddler. He plotted to secretly murder Emmerich and appoint himself regent. Or so I'm told. Wow, so what happened? He failed, of course. Others in my family were implicated in the plot. 
the High King stripped House Hallux of its titles and domains. My mother died of shame. I was far too young to have been a part of it, though, so the Sovels took me in. Wow. That's sad. So, uh, continue exploring Deep Scorn Hollow. So it's just basically straight across, it looks like. Let's go ahead and get our weapon ready, because I'm pretty sure these guys already respond. Come here, buddy. Oh, I attracted unnecessary attention. Whip it! Oh. You want some too? Ah. Oh. Got him. I'm actually kind of a natural when it comes to this. I'm by no means uh like ready for end game stuff like trials, but not even on my other character. But I I like to think that I'm not the worst player. This is definitely not a smuggling operation. What makes you think that? Haha, -ha, I saw you the last second. Ah. Uh. Nice try there, buddy. Whip it. Sit your little butt down. Okay. Let's corner one of these cultists. They might know what's happened to Quisley. Perhaps. So, this guy's alone. Let's isolate. Really with them. Oh wait, that's. Me. Well, he ran. I want to take them all out though. Why is that person laying down? Come over here. Ah. Uh. Let's go ahead and get ready. Oh, nice try there, buddy. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm excited to, to play as a tank. I do like getting up close and personal. Although, tanks don't really do damage. And that's, I hear, one of the, uh, the biggest struggles with tanks. Uh, is the fact that they're kind of hard to level because they don't do the DPS. So it takes longer to kill enemies. So that's why I'm doing a regular build and doing DPS. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Okay, so I gotta talk to this guy. What is the meaning of this intrusion? Who are you people? What do you think you're doing here? Uh warn you. I am favored by the daughter of Sithis. She will avenge every injury you inflict on me. Every inch you say. Well, we need information. We're looking for this dude named uh Qu Quinsley Savell. Know anything about him? Quisley Silvell? He belongs to Laleus now. She is the daughter of Sithis, and none dare defy her. Leave while you can. You're fools if you think you can save him from her. Fine. Where is Laleus then? Uh, will she sacrifice Quisley? The daughter of Sithis and her brother are in the Fane of Scorn. I don't know when she plans to grant Sovel the kiss of Sithis. Someone else is to be sacrificed today. I've told you what you wanted to know. Can I go? So I'm going to tell you this right now. All right. If Quisley isn't to be sacrificed, then who is? Some dark elf they caught. Even now she faces the death of the crystal fangs in the next chamber. Laleus herself presides in the fane below. I haven't been invited there yet, so I don't know for sure where it is. Now let me go. Please. Uh, hey Bastian, what do you want to do with this guy anyways? I don't believe him. I think he knows more than he says he does. So do we kill him? The daughter of Sithis? The Fane of Scorn? I don't believe it. Quisley's fallen in with... With death worshippers? Seems like it, yes. Is Quisley the type to join a cult? Hardly. The only hmm. thing that interests Quisley is himself. Either these Sithis followers hid their true nature to lure him in. Or he's so besotted with a woman that he doesn't realize he's in danger. Makes sense. Either way, I'd better get him out of here. 
What about Tanare Vels? I'm not sure I believe this sniveling cultist, but we shouldn't let anyone get sacrificed. Not even Tanare Vels. Let's split up. You keep going, in case he's telling the truth. I'll see if I can find out more about the daughter and the Fane. Alright, see you later there, buddy. He seems like a very Please, honorable man, isn't he? Anything you, want. Just let me go. you sure you don't want to off him? I guess not. I know where a map of this place is. It's not far. Just, you know, don't hit me. What else can you tell me? All right, let's go. I don't want to stand here and witness his interrogation methods. The less we know, the better. Oh, you want some? Oh, I didn't realize those two. Where are these? What were they shooting at? All right, relax. I'm I'm going here in a second. I gotta take out the the adversaries first. So there's three crystals. Just flip them around. Haha. -ha. Oh god. You're not going anywhere, sweetheart. Sorry. Dunskies. 13 gold. All the gold I can take, the better. Hey, you! Let's party. Uh. Well, she wasn't very strong. One more to go. Let's play hokey pokey. Oh, come on. Haha. -ha. Granted. The enemy scaled to you and Thank you, stranger. I'm not very strong. Let's talk somewhere safer. Yes, Tenari Vels. Should I go kill these guys? You know what it's free XP. Haha! -ha. I'm like a ninja. No, wrong button. A ninja that can't shoot, apparently. Alright, let me focus on this guy. So he doesn't heal his little zombie. Well, it doesn't matter anymore, I guess. I already killed him, so... There's that. Deep Scorn Caves. Okay. Let's take a look at the map. So it looks like straight ahead. Hey, Tanari. Oh, my skin still feels like I've got a thousand tiny spiders biting me. That was horrible. Oh, and thank you. I don't know what someone like you is doing here, but I won't argue with Providence. I'm helping Bastion Halix uh, find his foster brother. Ah, the dutiful and not terribly clever mage. I'll bet he's angry with me. I took care not to inflict any permanent damage on him, and I fully intended to set him free just as soon as I finish here. It's business, not personal. So I definitely freed Bastion and found your contact with Lazar Alars Tull. Then you understand my predicament. I need Sildel if I want Lars Tull off my back. But it's not worth getting myself killed over. Help me get out of here and I'll help you. I got a look at a map, so I think I know where you can find Sildel. What do you know about this place? Not much. Lars Tull suspected that Quisley was hiding out in a smuggler's cave on the coast. I thought I'd have to check them all. Then I ran into your friend, Bastion. I knew there was something off about the smuggler story, though. It didn't fit. Hmm. Uh, you said something about a map? I found notes left behind by some unfortunate scholar. He'd apparently come here to make a survey of the ruins. I hope he had the good sense to retreat when he found fresh evidence of occult presence. More likely, he came to a bad end. Did you see anything about a chamber called the Fane of Skarn? I did. It's all the way down at the end of this maze, naturally. The scholar's notes hinted that it's an abandoned temple. 
once dedicated to Sithis. Well, probably not abandoned now. Probably not, actually. Uh, how much... How much of a debt does Quinsley Savell owe this Lars Tull individual? He must be in deep. If Lars Tull is willing to write off what I owe to get his claws on Quisley. Too bad for him, but it's a chance for me to get out of a bad situation. Lars Tull makes a good living from other people's mistakes or desperation. How did you end up in, uh, in debt with Lars Tull? I borrowed gold against imagined winnings like every gambler ever. You ask a lot of questions. Not to be rude, but I'd really rather find Quisley and get out of here. These cultists already tried to sacrifice me once, after all. Yeah, that's fair. Goodbye. Good. I saw a rough map of this place before I got caught. So I think I know where to go. I'll keep out of your way if we run into more cultists. She's, uh... To that ritual. No condition for a fight. The She's cultists definitely go on and on about Sithis. She uses dual blades. She's probably a night blade. Die! Haha! -ha. I should have definitely got like well, to be fair, I only had one ability to choose from so it's not like I could have chosen anything other than that uh that's that stabbing button or a uh, move that one uh where are you gonna run there's nowhere to run I think that guy was just desperate haha -ha. hello S stay prepared and got her. She did not stand a chance. Alright, how far is it? It's actually not that far. Once we clear this, we're pretty much there. Oh, did he just did he No he didn't get me? What's up, buddy? Uh, and is she- is he dead? She is pretty useless right now. She doesn't do anything, apparently. Hey, you! Haha! -ha. Did he just hit him- his own friend? Uh-oh. Dude, I got a two-for-one special- what? Let's go. Ah! That was close. I should turn on auto loot. Ah! I almost forgot to uh put on my shield. You're not okay, maybe I should take out the mage. Just makes life a million times easier okay spike armor very nice Damn. dead end and a vampire in a cage this isn't terribly helpful there's got to be a way through i know what i saw on the map okay hold on maybe i would have sworn the map i saw showed a passage here unless could it be a hidden passage I'll look around Could be. It. Why don't you see if the vampire knows anything? What do you think the vampire knows? If he's been here long enough, he must have seen cultists coming or going through any hidden passages. But be careful with him. I don't trust vampires. I think she's on something. Look at her eyes. Uh, the map you saw might have, uh, might have been inaccurate. That's always a possibility, right? Perhaps. But I'd rather not fight my way through half the cult to get to Quisley Silvell. If there's a passage here, it could save us quite a lot of trouble. Get in, get what you need, then get out. That's how I prefer to do things. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I'll talk to the vampire. Your comrade is correct. There's a hidden door. 
Well, he's a uh, very part of this cult, are you? No. In fact, you appear to be lost. Uh, I wouldn't say lost. I'm looking for something. But hey, Mr. Greywith, Blendwith. Your dark elf friend watches me with no small amount of suspicion. Perfectly understandable, but I'm not a slave to my hunger. Why are you wandering around Deep Scorn Hollow anyway? The daughter of Sithis is fond of sacrificing strangers. Uh, we're searching for a Breton named Quinsley Savell. Know anything about him? I have heard the name. The daughter of Sithis herself has him. These miserable Sithis pretenders. I can show you the passage you seek. I'll consider it payback for the way they locked me up. Yeah, that would be definitely helpful, man. They hid the switch for a secret door under that crate over there by the wall. Clever, if one is a child. I cannot believe I thought these weak-minded fools might have a genuine insight into the dark mysteries of Sithis. Uh, tell me more about this daughter of Sithis. Lelace is a noble from Leowen who made a game of dabbling in dark lore. As I understand it, she found this place and managed to wake a presence that had been sleeping here for ages. She surrendered to the darkness eagerly. I doubt that it cared. What about the, uh, socialites who followed her? Fools and dilettantes bewitched by the daughter's powers. They believe she is the living embodiment of Sithis's dark will, servant of an ancient power. But the only power she serves is her own avarice and lust, like any greedy mortal. That's fair. <laughs> well, thank you for your help, man. Huh. All right. Surprisingly helpful. So a crate destroy. That was a uh, not a very mighty kick. Do you a favor and return? I knew it. I never grow tired of being correct. Oh, there's a secret passage. Okay. What does he want? Perhaps before you rush off, you might unlock this cell? A favor in return for my showing you the switch? Let me again assure you, I'm in control of my urges. I shall not harm you. I mean, to be fair, he did help us, but he could be just manipulating us. Uh... First tell me how you would... Uh, how you wound up in that cell to begin with. I came here hoping the temple held answers about my condition. But the cultists discovered me as I fed upon an unwary noble from Gideon. The daughter of Sithis was intrigued, but when she realized I had not yet mastered my powers, she locked me away. Why don't you turn to Mist? Yes, that would be an elegant solution to my predicament. I'm afraid that I'm rather new to this. State of being. I haven't figured out that trick yet. How do I know you won't attack us? I'm still capable of gratitude, stranger. I just want to be free of this place. I came here expecting something quite different. Okay. So, it is pretty messed up that he's in there. And I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I really don't trust him. But... It would, it's kind of messed up that he helped us, and yet he's. We, we have the option to let him uh, stay in there, so I'm gonna let him out. Fine, I'll let you out. Perhaps before you rush off, you might unlock this cell. A favor in return for my showing you the switch. Yeah, we've been through this. Me... So unlock. Better not attack me, homeboy. I guess he's keeping his word. You're welcome. Perhaps the friend you seek might still be alive. I I'm gonna take that as uh him showing us some optimism. I feel good for that decision. Right to the cult's hidden temple. Come on. Let's go then. To warden. Hold up a moment before we go on. What do you need? Thinking. I stumbled headlong into a bad situation once already. I do try to learn from my mistakes. I've been thinking. There's a good chance we won't find Quisley Silvell alive. So what happens uh, if you turn empty-handed? Nothing good. I 
wouldn't go so far as to say that it comes down to bringing Quisley in, or taking his place, but it's close. I really need to be free of Lars Tull. I barely persuaded him to give me this chance. I won't get another one. So then what are you suggesting? This may sound ghoulish, but if Quisley is dead, I'd like his signet ring. It's big, gold, and set with rubies. If I bring it back to Lars Tull, it will show that I held up my end of our bargain, and he would take it in payment of my debt. Mm. Okay, well, we need to locate Quinsley first, alive or dead. Someone's coming. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's just, it's just Bastion. I wasted my time on that cultist. He knew nothing. Glad I caught up to you. Hey, Bastion. Oh, I, you put the fear of the gods into our captive cultist. He was sobbing on the floor when I gave up and left. <laughs> I did meet a surprisingly talkative vampire, though. He told me which way you went. And seriously, do not turn your back on Tanare. Have you learned anything more about this cult? Our weepy friend told me that Quisley's quite taken with this daughter of Sithis. Figures. My guess is he told her his family is wealthy, so she's keeping him alive for ransom. We'll probably find them in the shrine they call the Fane of Scorn. That makes sense now. See, Naz, the guy seems to be easily swept over by the females, of course. So Tanare knows uh, where Fane is, although she thinks Quinsley may have been sacrificed already. She seems like the sort who expects the worst. I remain optimistic. I don't always get along with Quisley. That's fair. But I don't want him to end up sacrificed by the cult. Or turned into some crime boss's object lesson for that matter. No, I, I can see that. He's definitely an honorable man. You could you could just I just get that vibe from him. But uh someone has to pay for Quinsley's debts in Leowin, though. Not at the cost of his life. I'll figure out something. I always do. Me too. But just in case. Warn Tanari that she'd better not try anything foolish when we get Quisley. She caught me off guard once. It won't happen again. Yeah, let's just find him first so we can uh, sort all of this out. You're not even going to apologize, are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> He's my responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So there's bookshelves everywhere. Let's go ahead and read. What was that? Oh, they already initiated combat. So they're probably going to respawn by the time I get down there anyway. So let's just go ahead and progress forward. Did I not read this bookshelf? Maybe. I'm not sure. Or maybe they're not. All the Wait, what? Combat can't. Possibly that be that quick. Okay, well, whatever. I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs, but uh, I moved my office into another room. And uh, long story short, we're closer to my dogs, and they're they can be loud sometimes. So if you're probably gonna hear them occasionally in my videos. Is that him? It is Quinsley Savell. Kill the daughter of Sithis? Oh, God. Okay, where is she? And he's running away. I mean, I guess that's kind of a good thing, right? Um. Kind of think she's already dead. Alright, let's stand back and... Wait, hold on. Who's this? Oh, she's not gonna be in combat. Okay, there she is. I'm nervous. Oh, snap. Shield! Oh, wrong button. No, you you come here. Nice try there, buddy. Come on. Get out of the red. Let me go ahead and uh, draw the attention. That way, Bastion can do all the DPS. Oh. What's up, broski? That's all you got? 
Daughter of Sithis. Daughter of this blade. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Uh. Bastion. I need your help. Alright, Daughter of Sithis is dead. And so am I. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. I shouldn't have done that, actually. Haha! -ha, I got the moves like Jagger. Luckily, he's really slow. I need to grab Quisley before he runs off again. A little bastard. <laughs> I'm impressed with my skill on that one. I almost died, but I pulled through in the last second. Whoa, okay. So I definitely do need a healer if I'm gonna do this whole. How dare you? Lelise would never have hurt me. She said so. <laughs> Murders people, you, you idiot! <laughs> you were probably next. I'm not talking to you, Bastion, nor to that rude dark elf that just laughed at me. He seems like one of those privileged, uh, you know, bratty people that got everything their entire life and got fed with a silver spoon. He's <laughs> he seems like one of those kinds of guys. Spoiled everything. Spoiled is a good word. Lumbering oak my father insists on sending to make my life miserable. And whoever that dark elf is barging in and ruining my life. Who do you people think you are? Bro, we just saved your life. Those cultists were literally going to sacrifice you. Well, that's... That's just your opinion. Everybody here treated me as a guest of honor. And Lelace, the daughter of Sithis, chose me to be her consort. She told me that she'd give me the kiss of Sithis soon. Why would you ruin this for me? So Bastion tells me that your parents demand your presence? I'm not doing this one. I can't believe they sent Bastion after me again. They treat me as if I were a wayward child. I am perfectly capable of managing my own affairs. I refuse to go. You're lucky to be leaving this place alive, whoever claims you. Blame me. I am not some sack of flour to be bargained over. Oh, very well. Bastion works for me. Indirectly. I'll go with him. I can write a promissory note for the Dark Elf to deliver to her thug of a boss. He's a terrible person. Okay, well, I'm not sure. Uh, the decision is up to you, Quinsley. Hey. Bastion doesn't seem very fond of Quisley. I can't imagine why. We compared notes while you were talking with that simpering idiot. Bastion said he might have an idea that would solve things for both of us. That's good. So, then you don't want to deliver Quisley to Lars Lull? Toll? Years ago, I lost everything trying to get my brother out of a fishy trading scheme. Lars Toll offered to help me. I'm still paying for it. It would be grand to be done with Lars Toll and to pull one over him at the same time. Sounds a little bit risky, don't you think? If Bastion's willing to work with me, and perhaps forget about the knocked out and tied up business, I think we might have room for a compromise. Yeah, I'll, I'll speak to him and see what he's thinking then. What's up, Broski? Once we get Quisley out of here, I'm done. I've paid my debt to his family three times over. All That's right. good. I think I know how to sort this out. If Tanare is prepared to listen, that is, I'm willing to overlook the knock on the head to settle this. So then what's your plan? First, we need to get Quisley out of Blackwood. Tanare doesn't have anything personal against him. Well, no more than anyone else who meets him. <laughs> but the criminal she'd bring Quisley to might kill him. So will Qu uh, Quisley go along with all that? I'll threaten to tell his parents about this whole affair unless he cooperates and goes straight back to Daggerfall. Quisley knows that Lord Silvel can cut him off. It's the only threat that actually scares him. He would have to earn a living. Silver Spoon. Makes sense. So what about Tanare? I think we can all walk away from this. We ship Quisley home. Secretly. Then we make sure that Tanare has something she can take back to Lars Tull. Thank you, friend. I think Lord Silvel would agree that you've earned your payment. Thank you.
Hey! Are you willing to give it a try? I'll need to bring last told proof of Quisley's demise. What kind of proof would you need? I'm clearly not dead! If I bring Quisley's signet ring to last told, he'll believe me. That's what That's I new. was thinking. I'll tell the Silvels that Quisley sold the ring to pay his debt. I'm right here! That ring should work. It might even cover most of Quisley's debt. What? My ring? I'm not giving you a damn thing. Bastion, keep that woman away from me. There's so re He just punched- <laughs> He just knocked him out. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. Quisley understands to stay away from Blackwood. Thank you. This should clear my account with Last Toll. And perhaps clear yours with this ingrate and his family too. We should leave this place. I'll see Quisley on his way when he comes around. Okay, hold on. Imperial skills. This is enticing. It really, really is. But I think I need a little bit more damage. So I'm going to go ahead and evolve, or uh, not evolve, morph this. So let's see. Uh, choose an ability to morph Lava Whip into. So we have Molten Whip or Flame Lash. Molten Whip adds... While slotted, your other Ardent Flame abilities increase the damage of your next Molten Whip cast. That's not very useful seeing as this is the only one that I have from Ardent Flame, right now at least. So this one adds targeting, off balance, or immobilized enemies grants you a more powerful attack which deals increased damage, costs half as much, and heals Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Let's go ahead and read these really fast. My tutors like to tell me that words and stories are a form of magic. If you put them together properly, you can weave entire worlds. Ah, uh, that's one way to look at it. I'm not a very good reader, but I do enjoy reading, if I'm completely honest. I just don't do it on camera here on the channel because, I mean, let's be honest. I read one book, it's going to take the entire episode. And that'll be absolutely horrendous. I already have him uh, set up as a as a tank, by the way. Uh, yeah. So he's definitely a tank, and he's a very good one too. So let's go ahead and head there. You know what? Let's go ahead and poke this guy. Oh, he's already dead. Let's make our way to the, uh, to this new place, but first let's go to this way shrine so that we can fast travel here at a later point if we need ever need to. Oh wait, it's already discovered. Yeah, it's already discovered. Okay, so then let's go straight. Yeah, let's go straight to our new location then. 